Let's talk about bar feed. Let's talk about edge. I've been into your facility. You guys are busy this year. Oh yeah, it's been a record year. So, you know, it's as you said, it's one of the most cost effective, easy, easiest ways to um, automate a machine tool process. Changeovers are getting a lot better. We've, we've de developed uh, rapid change tooling and, and collets and channel sets and stuff like that. So it's really a an easy step to go out towards lights out and un, unattended uh, machining. And from my perspective, because I've not personally programmed one, I wouldn't mind programming one, I love the technology, but it seems really user friendly as well. You almost, on any turning center that we have around us, you can just walk up, plug one of these things in, give a little bit of training, and they're fully automated within 24 hours, right? Usually, um, we, we try to set all the factory parameters and stuff like that, so we try to make it as easy as possible for the customer because they're getting training on tools, machine tools, and everything's coming together. So we just try to tell them like the basics. You need to tell how long the part is, needs to know where the end of bar is, and the bar feed will take care of it after that. And these systems, uh, bar feed in general, are really great. Now, it might be the first step of automation, but even when that part is done, cut off of a bar, maybe now a cobot's removing it and setting it some sort of palletized system to allow us to allocate all of our parts. And this allows also for low batch, high mix situations, high feed situations where, at least to my understanding through the years, when I think of a turning center, and I think of bar of material, I want to run a thousand parts, but it's not necessarily all the time like that anymore, is it? No, we got uh, different uh, things. The controls have actually come quite a bit uh, along the way where the bar feed machine will actually communicate with each other. The, bar, the machine can actually change uh, part lengths on the bar feed side, and it, the bar feed can also let the machine know how much material it is and allow it to make another different part, you know, in a family of parts and stuff like that. So a lot of the automation is, is becoming more seamless across the accessories to the main machine tool. So, and it's been, been really exciting to see all that stuff start to come together. Well, I have a question to ask, and I'm pretty sure you know the answer, but again, because this is never scripted, sometimes we don't know the answer, and that's okay too, and that's bar whip. You know, how do you guys prevent or help against that bar whip? Because when those spindles are turning, sometimes we get that vibration in the part that's gonna reduce our cycle time or reduce our tool life, uh, make a poorer finish than we'd like to have, but there's multiple facets to go into the domino effect of what happens with that vibration within there. How do you guys support that? So our equipment comes with in, in onboard and outboard stabilizers for the bar. They're a size to the bar material, and then as the pusher comes forward, they open up to allow the shorter bar to be machined. So with an edge product, if it's a sliding headstock, we have five points of support. On most fixed headstocks, we have at least four uh, points of support as the bar is being consumed. You can't really do anything with a bent bar, but we can try to stabilize as much as we can to get the RPM and performance out of it. Perfect. Well, is there any questions I haven't asked you of a technology that you'd like to share, or would you just like to close out with a website where they can find you? Um, one thing, you, you mentioned cobots and stuff like that. Uh, one thing that we've developed is a unloader, so the customers out there may not be aware of that. And basically, it's, it's the same footprint as a short loader, and it'll actually go up inside the subspindle of a machine and pull out a finished product. A lot, a lot of shaft works and stuff like that. Um, we've also been uh, having good success with our mist filtration, both water soluble and oil. And then we, at IMTS, we launched our three inch Patriot. So we're really excited about that. Gives us a little bit better price point between uh, our current three inch and uh, the FMB stuff. So waiting to see all that stuff start hitting. And uh, our website is www.edgetechnologies.com. Well, last time I was in your facility, there were products coming and going and coming and going, so I'm not even sure if you have room to sell some of that, but I know the technology is amazing. Thank you for sharing it with the audience. I do appreciate you. Always now I'm going to head over here to the third sibling.